welcome to Gemalog. I'm driving to a Jewelry London trade show to give a talk about my experience in jewelry blogging. So here she is. Oh. Hi. Привет. How are you? I'm good. So we're gonna do a vlog. Okay. <laughs> the okay. worst part. <laughs> we need to get used to that. So just. You know, you can just hold and we can chat. Hi. <laughs> so what are we gonna do now? Because I've never done it before. So we're gonna. Oh, I love your earrings. I know. I oh like my, my earrings God. too. <laughs> They're so cool. You haven't seen my other love bracelet. It. Oh wow. Yeah, the bracelet is cool, but I wouldn't. I couldn't put it on. I need your help. As usual, you know, Julie, I need your help in everything. Yay! <laughs> I feel useful. That's good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna blow up the balloon. And I'm an expert because I have a child, so I've done it a thousand times. Now we're gonna do it again. Yay! Okay. Excited? Okay, so we have only just yeah, we can park here. We have 10 minutes to make this happen, or I'm gonna be late to my talk. I don't wanna do it, I'm afraid! <laughs> and you're gonna be filming. Oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, language, language. <laughs> so, this is my exciting boot. <laughs> So we have the, whatever it's called, for balloons. And Julian knows how to use that. That's what matters. <laughs> Let's do it. And we have the balloons. Some of them look better than others. So you don't have any scissors or anything as usual, right? No. no. You didn't stop? So yeah, force attempt. First engagement ring. It's all about the process. The first engagement ring is ready. So now we have four more to go. I didn't have any balloons for my engagement. Here we are, we have balloons. <laughs> okay, so now we need to find parking. <gasps> Woohoo! Tiko, Tiko, don't, 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 don't speed up, don't speed up, we're gonna lose them. <laughs> Ten cars behind me. Don't speed up! Julia has Yay! solved the problem. <laughs> Julia, where are you? <laughs> That's I'm hilarious. just afraid we're gonna lose them otherwise. So I better hold them. Okay, so okay. let's just drive. So we are going to the talk. Yay, I got engaged. <laughs> so I'm, I'm running a little bit late. So guys, I hope you'll forgive me. So we probably, I'll have to turn off the camera now and we will start running. <laughs> See you at the talk. <laughs> so, um, I do things differently as I'm a blogger and I like to look crazy and think out of the box. So, right now I'm doing a live video. Yeah, you all on Instagram? Instagram? Interest people? So, now I'm doing a live video and I encourage you to digitally, uh, digitally disrupt our conversation and just send me a comment with a question. And if I don't like your question, 
questions, I'll ask, I'll answer our course. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> so please send me your questions. And uh, after the talk, during the talk, I'll try my best to respond. If I can't respond during the talk, I'll respond afterwards, and I'll call you back. And hopefully, I'm very happy to hear you very special that you managed to find time during a very busy trade show when I came here. Thank you. What do you want to do now? Now all yours. Okay. Okay. Tell me about Gemlog. What kind of gave you the idea to first start putting what you were seeing, what you're doing online? I mean, I'm Russian, but I was born in Asia. I'm an Asian part of Russia. So I spent my childhood in China, Korea, and Japan. Then I moved to Europe. Then I moved to the US. And when I started doing my JA, I actually launched a blog because I wanted to share the stories, the pictures, and my just my journey. I didn't say that. So when I launched, there was no blogging, right? So um, a few American brands approached me and I became a face for a few fine new brands in the US. And um, from that, sort of blogging started to emerge on. Blogging is not easy, as not jewelry industry in general is not easy. If you like to be a fashion blogger, or you like to be in fashion, you go outside and shoot a few, few looks. But if you like to be in jewelry, there's a lot of trust and reputation involved. And I'm lucky one who started so early before of the internet age of blogging that I have an audience and what they like and how I can help them to pick the right earrings, to find the perfect statement piece. And there's a lot of facets I have to take care of from a digital creative website, social media, newsletters, content marketing. You have to have that line. Uh, if, and I learned if I'm not asked, um, I don't have. So it is, it is the, with Sandra and friends, you need to have that line. If they're not interested, you shouldn't bore them with that. Do they get what you do? Yeah, I think so. I do. I blog about jewelry. I entertain myself with jewelry, so they, I have a good understanding, and they know a lot about jewelry. I should talk to my fiance. Yeah, so when did you get engaged? We got engaged in uh, late March in Venice. Hence the balloon spread. I mean, I'm still celebrating my engagement. It's, a, it's my personal journey. So, so this is like I'm sharing with you uh, how much I'm in love and how much I'm happy, and how fantastic that sort of my engagement and it's all rings and wedding. It's all part of sort of blogging. You can make it interesting, and create beautiful content, and enjoy the experience and share. So that's sort of what I'm trying to do. So, do you have an engagement ring? Yes, I do have an engagement ring. I'm Russian, so I wear my right hand. Ah, oh, that's really interesting. I didn't know that. Yes, I'm Brazilian. My son says Brazilian. He wears, uh, he, uh, they wear, when they engage, they wear a ring on the right, and then once married, they wear on the left. That's a nice global insight, isn't it? I don't think many people in the room know that. I definitely didn't know that. So like, we went to Bahrain in a jewelry show there, which wasn't amazing, but my our flight was delayed, and I traveled with a professional jewelry photographer, mother entrepreneur, and director. Julia, so she is a goddess <laughs> and uh, helps me make a, a different element of what I do. So our flight was delayed, we arrived to Bahrain, and instead of midnight it's 3 a.m. So we need to wake up at 8 a.m., five hours is okay, but it's time difference, right? So we barely slept, and I had this crazy idea of have a kilos of glitter in my hair, I have a crazy makeup. So we kind of managed to do that, it didn't work out because Headdress wasn't it wasn't her day, so I I the glitter is all over the hotel room, all over the shower, all over my clothes, everywhere. I'm I don't know what to wear. I'm jet lag. I need to go and I have to call free jewelry designers. I pull myself together, put something on, still looked fabulous, a little crazy, and then we meet designers. We spend time work, but you really you feel you feel very tired. It all looks glamorous, so. Behind the scenes, you don't show. You don't show that you haven't eaten, you haven't slept, and you really work hard. So you, you, I'm still enjoying what I'm doing, and I can't complain. I don't complain, but it could be difficult. And then it's hard work. I mean, it's, it's glamorous and it's fun, and it's stuff that you know lots of people will never experience. But at the same time, it's still hard work. And here, yeah. I have to yes, to tell about myself, and hopefully, I'm interested enough. But it's also you need to learn a few things, right? You need to see how to improve yourself with brands because you're here. For a reason, you're showing your jewelry and you are building your branding, and that's important. And I am not sure how to do that. Do I do that? Yeah. So some of you have seen my business card. So if you would like to stand out as a brand or a personality, 
have a different business card. In my case, this one is a crossword about curls. And that's how I stand out when I meet new followers. I, I challenge them. I challenge their knowledge about curls. I do a YouTube channel now, so I kind of try to film behind the scenes. So it's Gemma Love by Lisa Ola on YouTube. And I post behind the scenes how to create, how I create content, how we come up with things. And just so it doesn't look only glamorous, but it's also funny and unusual. And just to show a little more about how I come up with these ideas and create those things. Uh, also, jewel shoes works for me. So I need some jewels. So this is another example of pearls. And actually, we showed this in a department store. In the most poor department store you can imagine. And that's why I, I really like the pieces. I love the designer, and that's how Kind of, we decided to show the jewelry and create memorable images because many of the jewelry, it's not we do right. We do make tutorials, right? But usually it's on location pieces which will be sold or never seen again. And if I have that access and I can go to either Future Week or Las Vegas, I try to create content on the go. In the best time, I would like to ask you about your prediction and. What will be the next uh, piece of jewelry that will be Instagram friendly in the next season? What do you think? Right now we're looking at a lot of earrings, right? Where there is all over the ear, and just here, and matching, and smashing. And in jewelry, the, the next big thing is synthetic diamonds. And that's a scary world we're going to live in for a few years, and then we're going to bounce back. The same will happen to Christ. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. It's not intimidating at all sitting here in front of you. <laughs> but thank you, I really appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, the two winners, I'd love to give you the engagement rings. <laughs> for coming to my talk it was a lot of fun I hopefully I did well I was quite stressed <laughs> I'm actually happy it's over <laughs> thank you guys so I'm going to the Russian stand to check out some Russian jewelry with my I do oh, there's a lot of light no no hopefully we won't need flesh yeah, maybe not maybe yes hopefully we'll find some interesting jewelry not. <laughs> How many brands are you showing? About eight brands. It's a jewelry. From Natural from emerald from Russia. From Russia, yes. Uh, 38 carats with uh, gold and diamond. One must look. What, what is the next sentence? With the heart. One must look with the heart. That's so cute. These balloons are not hand anymore, washed in jewelry, so I'm going to do this. Shame on me. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> 